Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we've got a quick bonus video where we're going to be adding Slack notifications to our pipeline. In the last video, whenever our pipeline built, we got email notifications. Now I want to take that one step further because I don't really want to be checking my email all the time. I don't really like notifications in the corner. So something I use a lot is Slack and I want to get my notifications straight to me in Slack. So we're going to look at how we do that. So the easiest way we're going to add this is actually in Slack itself. Now I'm using the browser version, but you can do it on the desktop one as well if you've got that. If you type in app at the top, you can add the app straight in here, which is really, really helpful for us. We're just going to type in Azure and it's going to give us the pipelines. Now we're going to click add to Slack and it's going to come up with a permissions box for us to click on. Here we go. And we want it specifically for our build notifications channel. And we're going to click on allow. Okay, now that's been added, we've already got a pop up here telling us things are going. So we're going to follow what it's actually telling us here. And we're going to type in slash AZ, oh, I can spell pipelines, uh, subscribe. And what we actually want to do, we can have, as it says here, the pipeline URL or the project URL. Now, if we give it the project URL, like we have here, it's going to give us notifications for every single pipeline that we have running. Actually, at the moment, I just want to be really specific with what I have control over. So I'm going to go into the pipeline itself, and I just want to give it this one. So we're going to give it that. And hit enter. And of course, I have to sign in. And it gives us a verification code, and now we just put that in here. And there we go, they're connected now, which is awesome for us. So we don't actually have permission yet for Slack to talk to our pipeline, even though it's set up. And this is actually a, a much larger setting than just our project. So we need to go into Azure DevOps. We need to go to our organization. And in the bottom left, we've got organization settings. Here we go to security and policies. And we just need to tick this box here, third party application access via OAuth. And that's going to allow Slack to properly talk to our pipeline. So. I get rid of that and we go back to the right one. Now we can do AZ pipelines, subscribe. Let's click on that. Okay. And now we put our URL in to the pipeline itself. We subscribe there and we give it a second. And now it has allowed us to add the notification to Slack when our pipeline runs. So we're going to try it out by running our pipeline. So now it's running, we're actually already getting notifications in here to tell us it started running. And now the pipeline's finished, we didn't actually get another notification. And that's because it's set at the moment to just notify us when the run state changes. Now, what we can do, we can type well, this AC Pipelines subscriptions. Now, what we want to do is we want to click on add a new subscription. And now we can choose when the run state's changed, what we want to do is look for when the run state has changed from working to failure, then we want to be notified. So uh, this is basically the starting state, and we want to change it from in progress to failed. And we want to save that, and then we're going to run our code. I'm going to quickly break our project again, type in some rubbish in, and we're going to push that up to force the pipeline to fail. And now that we can see our job has failed, we go over here and we have a failure notification, which is perfect. So there we have it. We've added our failure notification and we've also got a couple of other types going on. Now you can spend all the time you want going through all those different filter types to find out the exact kind of notifications you want. This has just been a quick bonus video to show you how to do something extra that might benefit your projects. Come back to the next episode and we'll be doing some testing, getting ready for our refactoring. Thanks very much.